Ward. I'm an intern at the Boys and Girls Club of Worcester. Today I will be reading The Kiss That Missed by David Melling. Once upon a Tuesday, the king was in a hurry as usual. Good night, he said, and he blew his son a royal kiss. And there you see the king, he's in a rush. It missed. The young prince watched it rattle around the room, then bounce out the window and into the night. There you see the trajectory of the kiss. The prince told the queen, and then the queen told the king, and the king had a quick word with his loyal knight. Follow that kiss, he squawked. The knight mounted on his horse. Eventually, and galloped off in a hot pursuit until they came into the wild wood. Wild creatures with wild eyes and too much hair and very bad manners lived here. It was dark, it was smelly, it was snowing. They were not alone. There were bears with long claws and growly roars, swooping owls of all shapes and sizes and a pack of hungry wolves with dribbly mouths. Eek, squeaked the knight, and then suddenly, with a sparkle, the royal kiss came flying, and in turn said good night to everyone. Bear stopped being growly, owl stopped being swoopy, wolves stopped being dribbly, and before you could say, follow that kiss, they all settled down for a good night's sleep. And here you see all the animals asleep. After a while, they sat down on a wrinkly old tree trunk to rest. Right here. The wrinkly old tree trunk twitched and slowly rose into the air and above the woods and into the clouds. It looks like they were not on a tree trunk after all. At last, they found themselves staring into a pair of very hairy nostrils. A dragon with this pair would be nice on toast. His eyes leered greedily at them. And suddenly, with the sparkle, the royal kiss came floating and flew right up the dragon's nose. He sat up, sniffled, and blinked. Slowly, he opened his mouth, took a deep breath, and sneezed. Hang on, he said, as they tumbled through the trees. Come back, he puffed, as he lumbered after them. I want to pick you up and kiss you good night. Slowly, they all made their way back to the castle. Here they are following the path. The knight, that prince, was happy. The queen was happy, and the king promised to stop always being in a hurry. And here we got the royal family, and the knight with the kiss is carried on the pillow. He made sure everyone was comfortable and slowly reading them a bedtime story from beginning to end. Thank you for reading this book with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Hi, I'm Liz Hamilton, Executive Director of the Boys and Girls Club of Worcester. And I just want to say that the club is here for you. Currently, we're serving as an emergency childcare site for children of first responders, hospital workers, and other essential workers. In addition, we have a food pantry where we can help anyone in need. Lastly, on Fridays, every Friday, we're going to provide fresh fruit and vegetables at our Harrington Clubhouse, and anyone's welcome to come and get some fresh produce. If you need anything at all, please contact us at info at bgcworcester.org or 508-754-2686. Be well.